and thanks for joining me today on the Ology podcast. This is Chastity Osborne with Osborne Therapeutic and Medical Massage, and I'm so excited to have a guest, Tanya Hercock. Her and I have known each other for a long time, and she's an amazing therapist. Today we're going to be talking about Mayan Abdominal Massage. What is it, and why do you need it? So my first question for Tanya is, what's Mayan Abdominal Massage? <laughs> Um, Mayan abdominal massage is um, an ancient therapeutic technique. My main teacher with this work is a woman named Rosita Arvigo who lives in Belize. She's actually from the U.S. but um, settled there I think in the early 80s and she learned everything from a man who was known as the last Mayan shaman of Belize, mm. um, Don Eligio Ponti. So he's um, where this lineage and this tradition comes from. I do know that Mayan abdominal massage is a very sacred technique, amazing healing abilities, and they use a thing called kapal. Yeah, so kapal is an incense that comes from the kapal tree um, it's kind of like, uh, one of my clients called it being hugged by your best friend. So. <laughs> it is powerful. Really, really powerful medicine. Yeah, so we use that. Um, we use plants, um, prayers, and copal along with the massage. That's one thing that I personally have really enjoyed about the therapies that we've done together, um, is that when she starts this, uh, number one, she sets up intention prayer before just to kind of acknowledge your essence coming into her healing room but one thing that when she comes around you with the kapal and what kind of leaf do you put on the body does, does it matter um, what kind of it leaf? just kind of depends I like to use basil that's an easy um, yeah. you want to use native plants to the area okay. I would love to use rainforest plants if we have them here <laughs> <laughs> well basil's yeah, great um, yeah. basil is an easy one to get my hands on so when you're doing that specific prayer, mm -hmm. is, is there anything that is specifically taught to you or is all kind of downloaded based on the person? Um, there's actually specific prayers that I learned when I was in Belize um, taking the spiritual healing piece of the work. Mm -hmm. um, so, but there's different what are called spiritual illnesses that mm -hmm. we work with. Mm -hmm. um, there's grief, there's anger, there's fear, <laughs> sadness, um, so yeah. the prayer is specific to whatever that illness is. Beautiful, beautiful, and yeah. it's magical, yeah. and it works. So um, I mentioned in the very beginning, her and I were in Colorado School of Healing Arts together, took Massage Level 1 together, we've both been practicing for 20 years, we went in our own directions. Um, I'm so glad she did my abdominal because it's been a profound healing just for my own self but also for women around the world. So what are three things that you think Mayan abdominal massage is best for? For people who've never heard of it, mm -hmm. what is it? Where did it come from? We've covered that. Why would you get it? Um, so some of the main things that people um, come to me for are um, fertility challenges. Mm, um, yeah. I work with a lot of women that are trying to conceive um, also just general um, issues with their cycle, um, mm. any type of PMS that's going on. And it's also really great for digestive issues. So I see a lot of people for that as well. Things like IBS and mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. Well, IBS and IC kind of go hand in hand. So we're going to be talking about IC with another segment. But I've suffered horribly with menstrual cycles and it's helped me out immensely. It's also helped me a lot with the IC stuff. I'm turning 44 this year, so my menstrual cycle is going from every four weeks to sometimes three weeks, sometimes five weeks, it just varies. Now, you need to come in, is it a week before the cycle and a week after, what is it? So ideally, um, you don't wanna do the work about three days, three to five days before your cycle or during your cycle. So the so, upper there's about the ten upper days piece, a yeah, month where yeah. a woman can't receive right, the work. Exactly. I do know that the sequence that she teaches you, you can do for self care. So tell me a little bit about how you educate people to be happier and healthier in their body. <laughs> so um, after your first session of the work, I always teach self care, 
and it's something that you can do every day. What does that look like? Like, what do you show people for self-care? Um, so I'm teaching them how to make adjustments to the uterus, um, also mm. how to work with the upper abdominal area. Um, it's really great for the diaphragm, mm -hmm. um, taking those deep breaths. It brings us back to that center, mm -hmm. our core. Absolutely. Um, also, just this emotional, we carry a lot of emotions in here, and so it's really great for addressing that as well. It's emotional center. Yes. Digestive system. Um, yes. So, and this is our connection. This is our, kind of our spiritual umbilical cord. So right. So this is how we connect. She's mentioned that before. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yes. So this is, this is how we connect to those higher energies. Mm -hmm. What does that look like in a really brief term without giving away what mm -hmm. you do with my abdominal? Mm -hmm. And I say that because it's sort of like creating a flower, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. growing it and mm -hmm. maturing it and letting it blossom. Mm -hmm. So in a really, really brief segment, mm -hmm. what does that look like? Like what do you show people for self-care? Um, so I'm teaching them how to make adjustments to the uterus. Um, also mm -hmm. how to work with the upper abdominal area. Um, it's really great for the diaphragm, mm -hmm. um, taking those deep breaths. It brings us back to that center, mm -hmm. our core. Absolutely. Um, also just this emotional, we carry a lot of emotions in here, and so it's really great for addressing that as well. It's emotional center. Yes. Digestive system, um, yes. So, and this is our connection. This is our, kind of our spiritual umbilical cord. So right. this is how we connect. She's mentioned that before. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So this is this is how we connect to those higher energies. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you want to say about the self care, or do you want to keep that a secret um, and have well, them come no, see you like and to, other Mayan yeah. abdominal massage therapist? Yeah. Um, I also do, um, if it's appropriate, I'll teach how to do castor oil packs and also vaginal steams. So both really wonderful. Which yeah, I'll be conditions. talking about castor oil packs with self care. And I'll be talking about vaginal steams and where there's some really great vag baths that you can purchase overseas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get one. It's on the to-do list. But also where you can go, there's one spa up in Vail that's allowing it, um, which is beautiful. Education is important. And then there's one spa in California that I've been that have the actual vag bath mm -hmm. chairs mm -hmm. with all the herbs. It's heat regulated. You can turn it up. You can turn it down. It has an infrared. I mean, that's where things <laughs> yeah. are going. Yep. So, yep. so we have to educate to get there. Um, so, on on the ending of our, mm -hmm. our segment, um, thanks so much for being with yeah. me. I appreciate yeah. it. And uh, is there anything that you'd like to say about the institute that you went to, or maybe some of the teachers, or maybe like how do you contact a Mayan abdominal massage therapist? How do you find people like you? Yeah, so um, it's really easy. You can just Google our vigotherapy.com. Mm. And, and we'll put that down below yeah, so you can read it. Yeah, yeah they've got a full <laughs> listing of all practitioners, and it's actually all over the world now. The work has spread quickly. So Beautiful. Us yeah. women need it. Yeah. We really do. And um, some of your teachers and other institutes or anything that you'd like to plug, because we want to cover all those fabulous people who have educated us <laughs> so that we can continue to educate the world. Um. Really, my main teacher has been Rosita Arvigo in yeah. Belize. Right. So. I can't thank you enough yeah. for being thank here today. You. Thank you. And um, I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate her healing work. So if you're in Colorado and you're lucky enough to get on her schedule, you'll be well cared for. Thank you. Thanks for thank tuning you. in today. Ology Podcast, Chastity Osborne, Osborne Therapeutic and Medical Massage. Peace, love, and light.